Back to the prestigious giveaway talk show. Our next guest we're interviewing is the lovely Miss Monica English. Miss Monica English has so many accomplishments since she's been like eight years old. She's been doing pageantry. I want her to tell y'all all the success and accomplishments she's achieved since she was a little bitty baby. Do I just grab onto this? <laughs> all right, so, well, I won my first pageant when I was eight years old, and I've been doing them for over 10 years now. Yep, I started pretty young, and so I just gave up my last title as Miss Irvine Teen USA. Irvine. Miss Irvine. You had to work hard for that. Really. It's not an easy thing. It's not a natural thing. And, you know, it's something I'm very passionate about. So, you know, you just keep going. It's all about persistence. Yes. And I'm lucky enough to have represented a city where I go to school at. I'm currently a second year at UC Irvine. Wow. So I'm what now you, I'm in the OC. What are you majoring? Philosophy and film and media studies. So, doubling <laughs> philosophy. Well, I've always been kind of, I guess, like a deep person. I'm really interested in metaphysics, and I have a really close relationship with my brother. And he was a philosophy major, and he went to law school afterwards. People who are philosophy majors do really well in the LSAT, all those logic classes. And so he's now officially a lawyer, and I hope to go into his footsteps. But you know, I'm just kind of all over the place, so I'm, Lord. you know, I know I, I didn't bring that up, but, you know, I'm really into the entertainment industry, so I want to continue modeling and acting and doing all my pageants. Can't stop after 10 years, but eventually I want to be a lawyer. Tell me, what, I hear the lawyer thing, but I really <laughs> think you're more, is your, your modeling career and is gonna be astounding. Um, what what motivated you to even get into the pageantry? Your parents at that age they was they thought you was gonna do well in it, so they did they just start putting you into pageantry? I gotta say it was my mom. My mom is just that tiger mom. <laughs> so yep, she put me in it really early. I mean, she wanted to put me in it even earlier when I was about five or six, but it just didn't even work out that way. No, not right now. What was that? Dad said, no, 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 right now, no, not right now. He's more of the strict one, <laughs> but my mom definitely kept pushing, and, you know, I started doing ballet when I was three years old. I was always very involved. Ballet. Ballet, yep, did ballet for about six years. I was also a dancer. Okay. So tell me the things that you're doing with, um, with some friends of yours. I know you was doing some kind of project. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so Brittany Jarrett, she's my partner on the No Shame Project. And we, re we recently just filmed our pilot. So, oh. good stuff so coming up. Actressing too. Yeah, I'm, I'm an actress as well. So, I'm kind of all over the board. And Brittany and I actually met through pageants. <laughs> so, <laughs> go figure, right? Yeah, yeah. I can see that. I can see that. <laughs> yeah, Brittany's really awesome. So we're hoping to hit the road soon. Our plan is to go to about five different states and we're just gonna be covering on mental health okay. and really just bringing awareness to that. Brittany and I were both foster kids and that's how we really connected. Wow, so what are you, I mean, what's your projects you coming, working on next? What are you getting into next? What are you working on right now? I mean, There's a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, all my modeling gigs are like so last minute. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'll find out about something a few days before and I'm like, okay, I'm in, you know. <laughs> so you got to drive then. You got to drive. Yeah, I'm driving all over. I actually average about a thousand miles a week. Wow. It's pretty ridiculous. Yeah, yeah I'm all over SoCal. <laughs> What's your, what's your biggest passion? Can you tell me your biggest passion? Wow, it's a pretty hard one, but I just got to say people. I love working with people. I love inspiring people. And I really love children. And I think that a big part of that comes from the fact that I was in foster care when I was younger. And I think it's really hard for some people when they're, you know, not at home and 
these people are, you know, taken away from their families and they don't really feel like they have a sense of belonging. And I just don't want people to think that just because they're put in that kind of situation that they can't get out of it because it doesn't matter where you come from. You can do whatever you want to do. And, you know, I'm speaking from experience because I never thought I would get out of that situation. But as soon as I was, I got back into pageants. <laughs> And I've just been modeling and acting and doing everything that I love to do ever since. And you never look back. But I just want people to know that, yeah, you really can't. I just, I just really want people to know that wherever you come from, you can make anything you want from your life. Yes, you're right, you're right. And it's all about that motivation. And as long as you can imagine it, you can do it. You can, do it. You can make it a reality. I know if you've been doing it since you were eight and you're 19 now. I'm 19 now and yep, got to start early. <laughs> so what's your what's your what's your long term what's your long term goal in in modeling? Hmm. Do you have a long term goal in modeling? To be honest, I kind of just go with it, you know. But I really like just fashion. Yeah. I like modeling, all different kind of you know, exotic things. And I love walking and runway and, which is funny because I'm a bit on the shorter side. So I'm more of, you know, a print model, but yeah. I don't let anyone tell me that I can't be a runway model just because I'm five, seven, so you know? You do anything a six foot woman yeah, That's you're totally right. And sometimes my walk's better than theirs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, ain't nothing wrong with that. That's confidence. Yeah, yeah. it's confidence. And you gotta have confidence yeah. these days to do what you're doing. You're right. Um, and people mistake that with conceit. Yeah, they do. They do. Sometimes because you got to, some people, they don't have confidence. And when they don't you're have right. confidence, they feel like you're conceited. But I find out, too, when you're doing things in this industry or, or trying to make it in this industry, you got to be persistent. Yep. Keep going. Strong and keep going. I mean, not everyone wins their first pageant. A lot of people keep going and they keep going and luckily I did win my first pageant at eight, at eight years old and I think it was honestly just because I wasn't afraid to go up there and speak but afterwards let me tell you I did so many pageants before I got another title and it's funny because did it make you go harder it, it, I mean, it made me go harder it made me want to keep going back and keep trying and not to prove to other people but to prove to myself and you know I think these things are kind of arbitrary because I've done pageants over and over and you know within the same you know maybe range of say like two years or so you know I'll be in my pageant mode and I'll have times where I'm really confused and discouraged because I'll have my placement go down you know I might get second runner up in a pageant and then I'll do another pageant and I'll only get top 10 and then sometimes I won't even place and you're thinking you know what you know what is wrong with me or you know why am I not there yet but you just can't think like that and you just gotta keep reminding yourself that you're worth it and that you're gonna have your time soon I want to I want to thank you so much for coming on you was a lovely guest and you did a lovely job modeling I want you to tell the young teenagers out there that's trying to do what you've done um, how to motivate themselves and, and, and also tell them where to find you at so they can get some inspiration. You know, I think everything comes from within. A lot of people are always looking out there to fill that void. And, you know, it's really great to have a support system, you know, really appreciate your family and your friends because not everyone is going to be there for you and not everyone is there in your best interest. So the people that are there for you, you really have to appreciate them and, you know, don't take them for granted. But at the same time, you got to look for it in yourself because until you're happy with who you are, you're never going to get where you want to be. But, you know, I really enjoy working with people and that's why I'm so involved with you know this documentary travel series that I'm working on with my partner and so you can definitely follow us on social media um, we're called the no shame project and again I'm Monica English everything is Monica is English Monica is English I'm actually not English it's actually <laughs> my last name English is actually an Irish last name but just for convenience purposes 
Monica is English. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we want to thank the lovely Miss Monica English. And she's also with the No Shame Project. Y'all look her up. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Monica English. And y'all also check out the No Shame Project. We want to thank you, Miss English, for coming on the show. You're so very much. precious to us. We want you to come back. We will wish you come back in the future. Of course. Thank you so much for thank having you. me. God bless you. Thank you so much.